friends, welcome back to Lakeisha Loves the Plan. Hi everyone, Happy New Year. This is my first Worship Wednesday of the year 2021 and I'm so excited to share this with you. I am debuting my war card today. Now you're probably like, what the heck is a war card? <laughs> a war card is something that I gleaned from another YouTuber named um, Kaylee Ramos and I'll link the video to um, her channel below because she really inspired me. I was looking for like um, a place to put my war arsenal, a place to put all of my Bibles and my journals and, and just to house it somewhere. And so I found a place, well not really a place, but I bought a cart. And so I have everything on this cart and I'm so excited to share with you how I put it together. I'm excited to talk through how I use it. Also, you can look at her video too. She did a Rascal cart too with all of her stuff on it. So I'm hoping this inspires you to set aside some time for you and God. Put all of your things, all of your Bibles, your journals, your devotionals in one area so you can go there easily, um, organize yourself and save time, go there easily to um, acknowledge and spend time with God. So I'm excited. I hope you like it. If you do, please like, subscribe, click that notification bell and send me a comment because you know I like when you talk to me. Um, and let me know if this inspired you to do something similar. Um, you might want to do a war cart or a war room or a war space. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. So I hope you enjoy and I will talk to you soon. Okay, so this is my war card. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Um, this is a Rascal card that I believe I got from Michaels. Um, it is the wide one um, because I knew I wanted the wide because I knew the amount of items I had and I wanted it to um, fit everything I had. So this is how it looks. I'm really excited about using it and like wheeling it into different rooms. I still haven't um, figured out where I want to put this cart, but for right now, while I'm showing it to you, it's in front of my work desk. So I'm just gonna get a little closer here. So this side here, um, the C can stand for many things. It can stand for my last name and it can stand for Christmas and it can, of course, stand for Christ. I just love this C. Um, I got this from somewhere already made like this. I want to say I might have thrifted it, um, but I like this C. I think it complements um, the colors in my planners. And I have a shoe box here. Not a shoe box. What do they call these? Um... The photo boxes, photo boxes from Michaels. I have these two in photo boxes. So here is all of my planners um, and where I journal, um, like my Bible study and things. So like this is my faith planner where I keep um, a lot of my scriptures and prayers uh, that are not in my war binder, but just I grab this and take this with me. This can go with me on the go. It can also go with me in my bedroom. So it's small enough that I can take it with me other places. And then I have my um, devotional from um, Ben Von Alley, Michelle's shop, the face faith based box. Um, is a subscription also and I got this in her faith-based box subscription she has a quarterly subscription so please go to her channel and check that out I am a PR person so please use Lakeisha 20 when you go and then look at this beautiful pen I found y'all I found this pen at Cracker Barrel of all places during Christmas it was just so beautiful and so I thought it was a great compliment to my um, devotional here all right, y'all, so it's almost dark outside, so I'm going to try to um, tell you everything that's on here before it really gets dark outside. For me. So this is like an all-in-one that it's so small that I love to take this with me into my bedroom and put it on my side table. I love to um, write and read scripturally right before I go to sleep. It makes a good night's sleep. Um, so that's what I use this for.
every time I get the devotionals in the faith-based subscription box I put the devotionals here and then I can use that in my Bible study and in my Bible um, journaling and my next planner um, I'm really excited about it. I haven't used it yet it's new it's called um, the 2021 Christian planner and um, no I did I I did some stuff in it. I haven't used it in terms of like writing it yet, but my plan for this is to use this for my Bible study. Um, and so you see it has the blank pages um, and also has like totally blank pages for you to recur record sermon notes and then you can also color. So um, this was for December, so I colored it in. So I'm really excited about using the Christian Planner. Um, so if you come back to Worship Wednesdays, um, starting next week, you'll see me use this planner. Um, and then I can share how I decorate it as well. Um, the next planner that I haven't used yet is the Medium Passion Planner. I'm going to use this for book study. So also in my um, cart here, I have books that I just love to read and learn from. And this book is called The Esther Anointing. And so I've been told by um, numerous people in Christ that I have the Esther Anointing. So I was like, what is that? So um, my friend Michelle from Ben Von Alley, she told me about this book and it is amazing. And she has other anointings too. So check out this book by Michelle McLean Walters. So I'm going to be studying her book in my passion planner. So I'm really excited about that. And I will also be showcasing this on my Worship Wednesday. And then this baby right here is my war um binder i'm so excited i have not um set it up yet but i will be setting up this war binder on camera and um i just wanted to show you my beautiful pen that i got from the cuteness boutique it is so amazing with that cross right there it is a handmade beaded pen and so i'm going to be using that in my war binder and in this war binder i want to record all of my um thoughts my meditations prayers and mostly my gratitudes i don't have a separate gratitude journal but i am going to have a gratitude section in this war binder so again this will be featured on subsequent worship wednesday so y'all just click that notification bell so you can go back and see what i'm doing okay <laughs> and then this is not going to be here long but i got this from the dollar tree y'all it's a beautiful um dollar tree calendar but it's about Psalms. And I just have to show you like these breathtaking photos um, that come in this calendar. I absolutely love these pictures. And so I'm not going to have this here long. I think I'm going to use this in my kitchen. But I haven't decided yet. But I just love the pictures and that it is about the Psalms. And then also in this uh, photo box with my planners, I have some energy rocks here. And I absolutely love these. I put them in this uh, little container. And what I do with these rocks is that when I'm having a hard day or if I need to think or if I'm stressed, I just put a little rock in my hand and squeeze it and it like calms me down. So I like these little rocks. They're pretty neat. And I got those from New Orleans um, one time when I visited there. And then I have this cute little pouch that I got from VinVonAli.com. And I keep... Everywhere I go in my house, y'all, I have to keep lotion and I have to keep chapstick because we're in the house a lot now and it's just really hot. <laughs> so, and it's really dry. So I keep water, lotion, and chapstick on deck everywhere in the house. So that's my stash here. So then when I move over to this uh, box over here, I just have some little trinkets here along with this big C. Um, that could stand for my last name, Cover, or Christ, or Christmas. I just love C's. <laughs> so along with that C, I also have this um, beautiful um, uh, cross that says grace because I have to remind myself to give myself grace every day. And then I also have this beautiful angel from the Hallmark um, store. It is actually a ornament. But I just think it's so beautiful and so pretty. I'm going to leave it on my war cart. And along with that, so this is my stash of Bibles. So my first Bible I wanted to show you was my prized possession. My 
fire Bible. I absolutely love this Bible. It is a study Bible. It is where I want to do my Bible study and my Christian planner. And um, it is the English Standard Version. So for me, that's really easy to follow. I absolutely love this Bible. So um, I can't wait to uh, just use this in my uh, Christian planner. And then my son is just learning about the Bible. So I have this a Bible for children that I found in Walmart. And what I like about it is that the people in the inside, they look ethnic. And so, um, and the stories are really simple and easy for a child to learn. And then um, my friend Trika from um, Trika Plans get, gifted me this beautiful cross. And so I just stuck it on there for this effect. Um, because I'm extra <laughs> and then um, I have a couple of Bibles that I just bought and I'm really excited about okay so I just purchased this note-taking Bible and these again are from my subscription for Vivon Alley these clips here but when you open it it has lines it has lines for you to study so I can't wait to dive into this to decorate and to study and I just think it's just such a beautiful Bible and it's hardback and I got that Bible and these other two Bibles from christianbooks.com um, these other two Bibles I'll pull them both out at the same time I'm trying to do some uh, Bible journaling so these are going to be my Bible journal practice Bibles and this is a special um, ruler it has all of the books of the Bible on it so I keep that in here as well and this is my war binder from last year 2020 and many of you have seen me work in this one so I'm keeping this because I'm still transitioning from this one to the new one so I may want to look for some inspiration in here Oops. and I also have this pen case where I keep all of my Bible journaling pens and uh, pencils and what I love about these I got these from christianbooks.com too they have crosses um, on the front of them so I thought that was awesome all right so now I'm moving down to um, the second row and so I'm just going to show you the second row so in the second row I have a huge basket of um, journals and devotionals so this is where I write I draw I express myself I put stickers stickers I love stickers I put stickers everywhere so uh, the, <laughs> this is all of my um, journals and, and devotional I can show you one so I'll show you this journal um, walk by faith not by sight that's just a regular journal and I got that from city trends I think and I also have devotional so this is an example of a devotional this one says dream your heart out oh. so these are my um, journals and devotionals and my books so that's in the on the second row and then I also have some other things these are my Bible markers in this beautiful cup where did I get this cup from hmm I don't know where I got this cup from I have no idea but it says Jesus is the reason for the season and it's foiled and I just absolutely love it um, uh, my friend Michelle gave me this beautiful gold um, uh, rose a long time ago and I just love it and I have my um, Mr. Sleek pens that you can use in your Bibles and it won't bleed through I have all of them plus a highlighter and a pen in here ready to go whenever I'm ready to write and then when I'm having my devotional with God or if I'm praying or meditating, I cry, y'all. I am a worshiper and I cry, so I have tissues. <laughs> I keep tissues right here, ready to go. Um, and then I also keep, um, I'm very big on aromatherapy, so I keep incense here. Uh, where if I want to pray and meditate and I want it to smell good while I'm doing it, I'll, I'll just light an incense and um, it will smell so good. And then my friend Trika bought me this uh, prayer box. I don't know if it's in focus. It's in focus. See it? This is a little cute prayer box. And when you open it, it has a little mini pin in there. I don't know what I would use it for, actually. I just think it's so cute. And then I have this little sign that I bought for a dollar called Follow Your Heart. 
And so this is almost like, you know, what you would put on top of your dresser. And you cannot have a, a war area without a candle. So, and this smells so good. I got this from the Westin. I went to the Westin for, to tour the hotel for work. And they gave us the free Westin. If you ever go into a Westin hotel, it's actually their signature smell. And they put it in a candle. And it's so good. So I have that Westin candle. And also I have this cute little heart that my friend Michelle gave me. And um, in it, I keep all of my... Um, clips and pins for my devotionals and Bibles and then in the back here I just have a lot of generic pins it says she believed so so she, she she believed she did so she she believed she could so she did and so in here I'll show you I just have my generic blue pins And then, okay, and that's it. I think that's it. Okay, that's it for the second tier. And then for the last tier is like my big stuff. So I have um, illustrated Bible. So this is Psalms and Proverbs from Day Springs. And be sure to use um, the code Michelle20. Um, I think it's Michelle20. I'll put the code for Day Springs below so you can use that um, to give Michelle credit because she is a affiliate. Um, of Day Springs, but Day Springs has these beautiful illustrative Bibles, and I keep like my oversized stuff from my um, subscription box. So I got these from my uh, Vin Von Alley subscription. It's over stuff, and I wanted to keep it flat, so I keep those in there. Um, but when you open this up, you'll see that. It has words on one side and a huge space for you to draw or put stickers. I put my printables in here. And so I absolutely love this um, illustrated Bible. And I have an even bigger one um, at the bottom. And I keep this one in the box because it's pink. <laughs> so this is the whole Bible, y'all. This is the entire Bible that's similar to the other one. And it's gorgeous. So that's my prized possession right there because that costs a lot of money. Okay. Um, and then I also have what I use, and I can't even get it out, it's so heavy. But in this box right here, in this box, y'all, I have all of my stickers and washi. Because I use a lot of stickers and a lot of washi when I work in my planners and in my Bible. So I keep them just all together willy-nilly until I can find a better place to house this. It just it fits perfectly in the box. The box is pretty, so that's good enough for me. And I also have these Avery notebooks with all of my stickers from VinronAlley.com. I am a PR person, and this is a faith-based sticker shop. So all of her stickers are encouraging and faith-based, and she has many faithful characters. You have to go to VinronAlley.com to see the stickers. So I have two notebooks full of Vinron Alley stickers. And I also have Vinron Alley die cuts in these little die cut cases. And I have some other... Um, die cuts in these cases as well so i have three cases of die cuts at the bottom right here and so that's it everyone that let me put this stuff back so i can show you the final product so that is my war cart and so i am going to show you now the war card one more time so i hope i inspired you to do the same thing i'm really excited to have this war card it's going to really up my spiritual games and, and game and help me reach my goals for the year 2021 so let me uh switch the camera and then you'll see all right so here's one last look of my War cart.
Network. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired you and I'll see you next week as I work in my planners and my war binder and my Bibles. I'm just really excited to up my worship Wednesday. So make sure you click that notification bell and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much, friends. Talk to you later.